people that are new to investing, it can be tricky to find the right companies that align with your values. For us here at the Impact Investor, we believe investing in the future. We want to help build a better world for future generations. And to do that, we want to invest in ESG companies that have the power to change the world and potentially even help save our environment. Personal Capital has been the perfect tool to help me make the right investments into ESG companies. And their wealth of online free tools is the reason I've stuck with them for the past 10 years to help track my finances. If you want to learn more about how personal capital can help you manage your funds and why this tool is considered one of the best robo advisors on the market today, watch this video on how I use personal capital to manage my money wisely. Before we proceed, just a reminder that if you want to check out more videos on money management, ESG, and other investment tool reviews, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for the latest updates. Now on to my review of personal capital. What is personal capital? Personal Capital is an online money management platform that offers both free and paid for services for those that want personal advisors to manage their money. Personal Capital's free tools include some of the best products I've seen to help manage my money. And they focus on investment and retirement strategies rather than offering tools for financial tracking today. These free tools are open for anyone to use. Personal Capital isn't new to the game. And in fact, they've been providing financial services for people since 2009. For those wondering, is personal capital legit? The answer is a resounding yes. Thanks to the reputation they've built themselves, they grew so much that they were recently acquired by Empower Retirement. This merging between the two financial companies is good news for people that want a personal money management platform that focuses on investments and retirement rather than short-term goals. However, personal capital does provide users with limited transaction options where they can access their money. Now, you can also sign up for a free personal capital cash account. This account lets you do everything from accepting direct deposits from your employer to transferring money to and from your checking account and even helps you track large purchases. This is a great account that can help you manage your personal cash, which is separate from your entire investment portfolio. Personal capital's free tools have really helped me get a better understanding of where my money is going whether or not I'm saving enough for retirement and have helped me understand how to make better investment decisions. Some of the best free personal capital product offerings, in my opinion, are the budgeting and saving tools that are all easily viewed on their personal dashboard. Budgeting is hard enough as it is without needing to be frustrated about how to use my money, where it goes, and if I'm budgeting enough. Personal Capital's dashboard helps me take a look at my budget and my savings and provides me useful information about my investments and personal cash flow. I can even link to accounts, including my bank account, mortgage, link any debts that I have, and of course, link to my varied investment portfolio. Their personal finance dashboard is easy to set up, and all you have to do is to create an account by inserting your email and creating a password. Once you do that, you'll be asked to provide authentication, and after that's done, you can link to your bank accounts and other investment accounts. When I started off, I linked to my bank account and that was it. But most users will link around six different accounts to start off with. Imagine being able to view all six different accounts in a single platform. That's what Personal Capital's finance dashboard provides for you. Okay, so how does Personal Capital actually work? In addition to free savings, budgeting, and cash flow tools available on Personal Capital, they also provide people with real life dedicated financial advisors. Keep in mind that these financial advisors are only available to people that have an investment portfolio of around $100,000 or more. These dedicated financial advisors provide sound advice on not just which investments to make, but also to help those that need to reduce, reduce their tax burden. For people that have investment accounts of over 200,000, they are provided with an extra financial advisor. And those with even bigger accounts are provided to a team of advisors and help with wealth management. Their combination of robo advisory combined with the personal touch of a trained financial advisor is what makes personal capital such a big deal for people with a lot of money or for even for those that just need an extra help managing their funds. If you do have an account of over $100,000, these financial advisors can help provide you with information such as 401k status, different stock options for you to choose from, and insights into your spending habits. Even planning college savings is included in their services. Is personal capital trustworthy? Personal capital might be annoying to some users as it was for me since they're two-factor authentication that you have to pass through when you log in, but that's all good news for people that want to know their money and information is truly secure. Personal Capital not only uses two-factor authentication, but you can also log in to your settings and turn on their foreign login attempt feature. 
This allows you to be informed in case anyone is trying to log in to your account using your personal information. Besides that, Personal Capital also has over 3.3 million users, and it currently manages over $22.7 billion in assets. If you're wondering just how Personal Capital provides security to all those accounts, their website's encryption is rated A+, by the world-renowned Qualysys, SSL Labs, which means that they have a better rating than most banks and brokerages. In addition, Personal Capital states that they never sell their information. You can even obtain a privacy report from the past 12 months with a simple online request. Beyond that, Personal Capital has its data encrypted with AES 256 with multi-layer key management. They partner with some of the biggest names in online security that you might recognize, including Norton, Investnet, and VeriSign. I've never had a problem use with using their account, and in fact, I kind of feel like you won't find any other platform this size with this many tools that also works this diligently to protect your information as personal capital does. All right, so now on to the pros and cons of using personal capital. The biggest pro is that their tools are free to use, and you can easily create an account and set up your personal finance dashboard. It might take a little bit of work to link all of your accounts after passing through their authentication process, but it's worth it to get all of your finances in one single easy to read and follow format. Another pro that is big for me is that Personal Capital also offers socially responsible portfolios where they have done the hard work for you and created a socially responsible personal strategy known as SRI as a way for you to know which companies are actively engaged in managing environmental, social, and corporate governance issues or ESG for short. The selection of their free financial tools is also a pro. There's even a retirement savings calculator where you can adjust your savings goals to meet your life expectancy, match it with your life expectancy to ultimately come up with the need for retirement savings and the target date of retirement. Their free tools also include looking over your investments, telling you in oh so beautiful language, whether they're winners or losers. There's even options to review spending on groceries, bills, mortgage payments, car loans, and all other debts. Another pro is the wide range of accounts that personal capital can manage. These include accounts like Roth IRA, traditional IRA, rollover, and SEP IRAs and trusts. While these won't be able to manage your 401k account or a 529 college savings account directly, they can help advise you on how much to allocate to those accounts as well. Perhaps one of the biggest cons of personal capital is their high minimum of $100,000 to access their full scope wealth management tools from financial advisors to using dynamic smart weighting to help you truly create a varied portfolio of investments. Having access to a financial advisor makes all the difference. Unfortunately, this high minimum makes access to these personal capital benefits not easily accessible to the most budding investors. Even if you do open an account with personal capital using their minimum, another con is their fee. The cost of planning is 0.89% of assets managed for those with anywhere between $100,000 and $1 million in their portfolio. I'll be honest, that's quite high compared to other similar online financial advisors or even just outright investing in index funds. Okay, here's my final thoughts. The good news is that personal capital are experts in their field, helping you to invest in ETFs and individual stocks that are designed to help lower your tax burden. This is just one of many ways that personal capital takes a holistic approach to your personal wealth. They understand that your wealth and money are much more than cash, just cash and assets. All of these assets are going towards something, whether that's saving up to buy a new home, trying to pay off debt, or saving enough to plan for retirement so you can enjoy time with your family. If you wanna take advantage of their personal wealth management tools and free financial tracking, no better time than now to create your free account and start getting valuable insights into your spending habits. Wanna have access to more wealth management tools without such high minimum click on the link below on how to access or sign up for similar platforms like m1 finance in the description and remember to subscribe to our channel for more financial planning content in the future thanks for watching